typical Care 11. They didn't bother to say that Bachman's been an idiot for years. She's always using our troops and God to cover up what a useless tool she is. Now to our other top story tonight. Two major statements made today by Colin Powell. He took a verbal jab at Michelle Bachman's controversial comments, suggesting Barack Obama is anti-American. And moments before that announcement, the former Secretary of State and the Bush administration threw his support behind the Democrat running for the White House. He has both style and substance. He has met the standard of being a successful president, being an exceptional president. I think he is a transformational figure. He is a new generation coming into the world, onto the world stage, onto the American stage. And for that reason, I'll be voting for Senator Barack Obama. And after he got off the set of Meet the Press, Powell turned his attention to Minnesota Congresswoman Michelle Bachman. There he offered something far short of an endorsement. The focus, her comments late last week suggesting Barack Obama is anti-American. Carol Evans' Janelle Klein once again shows you the impact of those words on this 6th District race. He's John McCain's longtime friend, George W. Bush's Secretary of State, and now a supporter of Barack Obama for president. Colin Powell today says Obama has his endorsement, calling McCain's campaign divisive and citing Minnesota Congresswoman Michelle Bachman as an example of Republican negativity. This business of, for example, a congressman from uh, Minnesota who's going around saying, let's examine all congressmen to see who is pro-America or not pro-America. We have got to stop this kind of nonsense. They're over the top anti-American. It was Bachman's views on MSNBC's Hardball Friday that sparked Powell's outrage, with Bachman in a 13-minute appearance telling host Chris Matthews she questioned both Barack and Michelle Obama's patriotism. It was Michelle Obama who said she's only recently proud of her country. And so these are very anti-American views. Bachman went on to cite Obama's ties to 1960s radical William Ayers, telling Matthews she's, quote, very concerned Concerned about Obama's questionable associations. Later, her staff said Bachman was simply raising valid questions about Obama's ties and that her comments should not have caused such controversy. Chris Matthews did his hardest to paint her into a corner and to spin it as, as best he could, and the blogs have taken off with it. But as far as we're concerned, this is liberal spin and overdrive. Whatever her intentions, Bachman's comments may have helped her congressional opponent. Elwin Tinklenberg's campaign has just since Bachman's hardball interview received from across the nation more than 600 supportive emails and $640,000. Janelle Klein, CARE 11 News. That was Janelle Klein reporting. Bachman continued to defend her comments today, now saying she did not say Obama's views are anti-American and that the MSNBC appearance was a, quote, misreading of her comments. She also says the national media has what she calls a, quote, incredible lack of curiosity about Obama's views, relationships, and associations. And here's McCain's idiotic response about the crooks who support him. Back to the Colin Powell endorsement of Barack Obama, John McCain says he will not let one person's opinion get in the way of his run for the White House. Obviously, I was disappointed. We had heard that this was coming, uh, leaks from the Obama camp, but I admire and respect uh, General Powell. Uh, McCain says Obama may have Powell, but he has the support of former Secretaries, Secretaries of State Kissinger, Kissinger Baker, Baker, Haig, Baker, and Eagle Burger. Henry Kissinger was forced to resign from the 911 commission because he didn't want to expose his ties to the Saudi freaks who armed Al-Qaeda and the Taliban.